One thing that one can expect from Vibes Cartel is the unexpected. Dualness. I your police friend and try no sing the life sucks when you're quarantined and lonely. And that's the fire from each hour and other part. Who is this? Who is this? Excuse me, sir. Welcome to the countdown burritos. Woo! Don't rush. Still touch. Find a way. Like a good country. Grab them back. Like I'm good boss. Like I thought I. Like I lose trust. Why run? Easy boss. Where you they go? Go. You they go up. Catch my back. Let me go up. Box cover, this is such a bear, and welcome to a brand new top 10 social media countdown. So let's get right into it. Dusty are the berry, yeah, the juicy are the scoop. All the things are going on, it missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner I'm coming soon. All the drama where you want, you fit tuning to the youth. Like, yo, hey, box cover, and cover all the topics like an evening. Pot cover, mix up, blender, all them suck me, I will have me not a week, yo, just tune in. Zin. Number 10, Aishana comes for Andrew. Me equal rights. <laughs> I just got started. What you think one round can do? My word, my sentence, my paragraph. So Aishana, um, she is Miss Equal Rights, and some people might know her from her previous relationship with dancer selector. Um, when name again? Foot or something. Okay, and so in recent times, you know, so Aishana, she is the queen of controversy. Anything for gonna make people talk about her, Aishana will or do it. So in in recent weeks, we saw that she said that she was going to open up her OnlyFans account, and people did just say, "Boy, Aishana, for the sale, you go put your little private parts." Then Aishana, the business can't be that bad. For you to be monetizing your vagina. But it's Aishana, so she will uh, do it. So now, um, in the middle of the whole lockdown and curfew, Aishana released a single, um, and she took him at the Prime Minister, Mr. Honorable Brogard himself, Andrew Olness. Now, take a listen to this. Oh my God! Wow! Oh, wow, Aishana, um, the Prime Minister. So you're moving from a selector? To the Prime Minister of a country, a round of applause for Aishana's ambition, people. Round of applause. If that is not an upgrade, I do not know what is. So, I don't know how Juliet Holness can feel about this Aishana because you, I don't know, you cannot say, I, you know, you cannot say, Andrew Holness, you and him, they kind of in a deal. It's like, I don't know, it's like Andrew is like the hot topic. If you want to trend, if you want to make it in a life, just call Andrew name. Like, things will work out for you. We see like two man on social media where guests them are artists or whatever, they mention him name and see that police find him and them go viral. So it look like say, Aishana, she had tried to kind of revive and give a little extra lift into her career because maybe the only fans ever really too gear the push there. So maybe Andrew Holness will do it. But may I look out for Juliet. Juliet Holness, let, let, me, let me give you some advice, right? You yeah, so the next time you go in a parliament, put on something nice. Put on something we never normally put on before. Because you have to show up, Aishana, because you are wife. You can't make a little outside girl come, come in for your union. Remember, when a Jamaican little Barack and Michelle, you, know, you can't make nobody come and style the union there. So you see the same way all the Prime Minister do to the brother from Jonestown with the style him and the JCF. I want you to find Aishana wherever she did and send her. Send her somewhere. Just ship her out, send her to Haiti, Trinidad and Tobago, send her to Antarctica. Do something for sure. Your badness, Juliet Holness. Okay, that is just my little advice. And Aishana, Put out the video feed, that is all. Well, let me know, Berridos, what do you think about Aishana's song? What do you think about her calling out the Prime Minister? Sound off below. Number nine, Jamaican talk about Corona. My cough and sneeze. So, um, what do you know, say, you know, Jamaica under quarantine, no, we're under curfew and all of these are shrimps. But, you know, in recent times, we saw quite a number of celebrities, social media persons, and just regular ordinary citizens taking to social media to share whatever information that they can give to encourage and implore Jamaicans to stay home. Hashtag tan a your yard. And one of such um, persons was conscience. Well, make sure on the inside, you know. No ramp with it. No joke thing, a serious thing. Inside, yeah, that. As well as Jack York. If you want to forget lockdown in the house for one, two week, and nothing. And of militant soldiers are there prisoner who were locked down for 20 odd years, 10 years, many years. Why? Because I tell you, a prisoner struggle right now, we need him out. And look how long him dead, they are wallet. Some of you learn about wallet, man. Rough times, and we want to survive. So we want to stay home, people, and abide by the rules of the law. Saying respect. And then we go back up on a woman, I don't know where she come from, but some part in a country, I think a town based on her accent, but she decided to talk about the things in a fair own unique way. Pretty. 
And me name Big Woman, living in the community of Rambler. Who not hear me people? No going away too far left in the community. And try our best keep on yourself on the safe side. No make the cool ruler catch you. Know. We don't want that. Because you see from cool ruler catch you. Know. We not go dead. So I see it. See it. Yeah. Well, when I hear it from the people them, so let me know burritos. Like, who do you think was the most effective sound off in the comments? <laughs> We have sanitizer, come people, see a lot. Fifty dollar wash your hand. Who wanna get it yet? See the people. Fifty dollar wash your hand, people. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Nobody catch Corona, people. Not... Number eight, fight friend. Me tongue pancake. <laughs> All right, so we see this video. I think it was on Facebook, and them, you know, people they out a party. Well, clearly this has to be pre um COVID nineteen. So them look at them there, one like a dance, and them enjoy them like a cell phone. Somebody take out them phone, and I brother, you know, go in front of the camera, cause I guess him probably I wonder what go on. But when him turn around and see some type of thing now go on behind him, he never think twice. <laughs> I don't have a friend that me need in my life. Like honestly, if you don't know what go on, the brother just turn around and just think say him friend did in our fight with somebody else. And I say yo, no strange boy. Now I come try to come, you know, beat up my virgin. Me I forgot to defend my virgin. Them type of friend there eh, are people who are supposed to in a Gaza and like popcorn crew and them little things there. Eh, and them people they make good entourage. You get me? And them people there, they might not do nothing, but them just dead if you support you. Are you day one brother them? You can't leave them out no matter how you make it in a life. Because you see that? That man not even ask no question, no. He not even waste no time to hesitate and wonder if it was just ramp them around or whatever it be the case. Why? Who? I don't know. Let me know what you thought about um, this burritos. And let me know also if you do have friends who would have reacted like this in your honor. Sound off below. Number seven, money scripsy scripsy. Me, why? Me don't know why I'm going to write this up. But anyway, so desperate times cause for desperate measures. A lot of people nowadays like them are sanitize everything, them are bleach everything, them are walk with them mask, them are wear one entire helmet, them are put on them raincoat, all in the attempts to avoid the the um very mm, the one called deadly um disease called coronavirus. So this is what this person take them take matters into them own hand. Oh, wait, really? You just have a scripts scripts in the money, sir? Like, at that you're going to do with the money, like, forget it. I'm actually lost for words. Was <laughs> it somebody on Twitter said that is exactly what you call money laundering? <laughs> I just love them type of corny joke here. <laughs> Let me know what you thought about this burritos, boy. Number six, JDF helps. So this is one of the positive things them where you know I appear upon the countdown. So recently a woman she was I guess um, driving along Mountain View Avenue when her car getting her some problems and she just there at the roadside and luckily some members of the Jamaica Defence Force swooped in to assist her on the road and yes yeah, somebody recorded it and this is what um unfolded. Yeah, the puncher and the soldier them are passed through Mountain View and see the lady and them stop and take her car tire and fix it for her and a corona time them never must do it. See there? Lama and them, I'm put them face in there. On good and foot, because I don't know if they want to have social media. But I have to give a round of applause to the JDS people them today. When I take a stop, see there? The man them they are grown in a corona, they are afraid of me to call them a dress back. I put on the lady car tire for her. I want to give them a round of applause. And them things that we want people to highlight for them. See there? They must fix up the lady car for her. And it's and them come talk. Me. Come right here, so come talk. They don't want them facing the boy, you can't talk. 
I feel your car get fixed up. Come here, son, I'm a face gun at there. Talk what happened. I was driving and the soldier stopped me mm -hmm. and said, Miss, you have a, a flat. Yes. And they asked me to pull over. Yes. And they have assisted me in changing my tire. Pick up the two Jeep oh. and yes. a soldier. They are very helpful. They are in a Jamaica. Yes. Stop very helpful. And then change our car tire for you. Auntie, they not, they not say that. Nobody never send call me a pass, me a pass and see. Lama man on a big up on the cell. Yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, big up, big up to the JDF um, people for doing this. Definitely something that we need to see more of because we have so many bad news we are going. So it's nice when we can get to see a little bit of the positivity in Jamaica such as this. Mm -hmm. Right about now, it's time for the big up segment. Well done. Well done. Before the girls and sexy and love. Run song. Sing along. Well then. Big up every Alright, so first up on the big up segment, I have to go and big up the lady of dance. She said she not go by the name of First Lady again. The angel who celebrated her birthday on April Fool's Day. So big up yourself, the angel. I don't want to tell the world how old you be, but whatever it is, you still look fabulous, okay? And on another birthday note, I have to go and big up fella social media personality Juan Ramon. He celebrated his birthday recently. And also, my sister, he's doing a giveaway, giving away $50,000 to families who are in need at this time. That is definitely a very commendable thing. Big up yourself. Also, I have to go and big up 18-year-old Jamaican Kyle Lambert, who got accepted into six Ivy League universities. That is a box foot amazing thing, an amazing feat, a big, big accomplishment. So congratulations to you, Mr. Lambert. Mm. And also, right about now, Burritos, I have to go and big up an artist by the name of Flight. You might know him as a 2018 winner of Magnum King and Queen. And in the competition, his name was um, Blue Go. And now, in 2020, he's back in just, just released one brand new single and music video. It fresh, not even like two months good yet, out the road. And it is called Quarantine and Netflix. Previously. So, I don't even know which name I call him, if I flight or Blue Go. I'm going to use the two of them, yeah. So, 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 so Blue Go now, so, this video here now, like, it have a little, you know, you know them little late night HBO Cinemax type of... We call one cutie, we can't use up the visa, so we use quarantine and Netflix. Quarantine and Netflix. So and so premium, you know, them type of settings there with the little... Yeah, it have them little things there, so I can't really show you it. But if you want to go and pre the little excitement, go and check into the description so you can see the little um, yeah, you know. <laughs> Text alone, packers, the sangya, the yala, the slackers, I feel wally don't like the chikers. And so the song is basically about what is going on right now Where everybody just lock up themselves at home Because of you know the curfew and you know everybody has social distance And so people just lonely and them just there yard And what happens when they are alone at home And you start fear You know you start fear feeling You know you know you know you know I know the barriers them who don't know them settings here Because they're all on an angel They're not behaving themselves right now But for those of you who know the little You know the song here It will fit you You can add it to your playlist Okay You can go away Alright, so the artist's name is Flight Slash Blue Go and the singer is called Quarantine and Netflix. Okay, alright, so make sure say, if you want to go and follow the member of the video, link is going to be in my description. If you want to follow the artist, you can follow him right here. So, mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, man, if you want to know about mix up, ticks up, picks up, freaks up, all freaks up. A writer circle, there. mix up media. It's all about the dirty media, social media countdown. You ready? Number five, no kiss father. Go from yourself. <laughs> so, um, you know, Jamaican fathers, Jamaican parents are on a whole. They tend to really not have a. Uh, they don't really love the little mushy mushy, they don't love the little bonding bonding. It's like when you watch Disney, you watch um, ABC Family, and you see the whole family come together and then everybody talk about them feelings and them shake hand and them hug. Yeah, most Jamaican households, we don't have them little expression there of emotion like that. We like to walk around the things and keep it up until we just get vexed and take it out from picking them. Yeah, that's not the way how we do it. <laughs> so anyway, so this brother now, um, he decided to film some moments where he was going to show some uh, affection. Towards his dad, um, who is a who, who, who is um, a Jamaican, and this is his reaction. Hey, daddy, good morning. 
Hey, Jay, y'all about ready to go home? Yeah, I'm about ready to go back to the house, man. I'll see you later. What y'all doing? Hey, Daddy, you want me to check the mailbox before I leave? Hey, hold on, man, hold on. Let's come no closer to me, man. What happened? No, man, we're not going to think there, no. What? You never keep forgetting, you never get the machete, man. <laughs> <laughs> you see the last time that the man looked like him and said, yo, I don't know where they pan, but I'm in this, like, son or no son, hey, <laughs> watch the levels. And in all of this, you know, I think, well, can you imagine if when Popcorn have, like, a, 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 a teenage son, and that son try for the something like this, like. <laughs> no, 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 the teenage the bad guy. Yeah. Well, let me know, um, are you as affectionate like this with your, with your father, or already like your mother, and are they open, open to your love? Sound up below. Number four, pizza conversation. Mid pepperoni. <laughs> All right, so I do not know who is the person who came up with this idea. This very, you know, the person here very mischievous. But anyway, so somebody decided to take two phones, right? And make one call and call Pizza Hut and Domino's Pizza. I know, so they're the two prime pizza places in Jamaica right now. And this is what um, unfolded pre. Hello? Afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Hello? Yes, good afternoon. Afternoon. Yes, go ahead. Domino's Boulevard is speaking with Natasha. This is Pizza Hut Barbican. Pardon me? This is Pizza Hut Barbican. This is Domino's Boulevard. <laughs> No, you tell me no. Corona need for her bang one pass because like honestly they've like fine time for eye hands and clearly we're just bored and I look for new ways for entertain myself. <laughs> so now below very knows what you thought about this. Number three, TVJ interviews. Prime time news. Alright, so um a lot of conversation going on about the, the COVID-19 and such, right? And so in recent time, you know, TVJ go to the streets, I don't know how them reported they're brave too, but it should be no surprise because they're gonna send out the reporters when it was a um incursion and state of emergency. And so I guess a little a little COVID-19 is nothing for them. Reporters there can clearly make out steel and like you know bulletproof and all the little things there so anywho so um you know they took to, to, to downtown Kingston to get some interviews initially as it relates to the whole social distancing and this is what one of the hustlers um, on the street said if you get it from somebody, I'll say it goes same way. Same way. Governor Dale and Dunn, Governor Dunn, come for it, it's still long. Oh, okay, so... You know, most people, you know, they can't call the brother like dunce and, you know, stupid and all them because something there for not really keeding the warning. And I, I, I can understand how you might not want the person to be out there, but I had to put myself in this, um, in, in this man's position and realize, say, a lot of persons don't realize their privilege that makes them able to just like stay home and and still be able to take care of themselves and their family a lot of persons who are in the ghetto are you know in the inner city whatever they make for the day is what is allowing them to eat and take care of them pitney on the day most of them are not in a situation where they might have one lump sum of money for say yo this is me i get a month time i'm going to the supermarket and pay for everything for the month no it's on a day by day week by week sort of leveling strides that they do it and so anywhere where the crowd is and where the money is they are going to want to go and sadly in times that might mean say they might put them health at risk but um for them it is just like yo is either me did a starvation or did a me I try to grab somebody or work in a somebody's store or me come out here and try to get a sale. And it, it might be a lot for some people to grasp, but that is the that is the reality. What I would have hoped would have happened is that there would have been, would have been some sort of intervention that would have given them some instructions on how they can um, social distance themselves and still be able to hustle. So if it's going to be like, okay, only... Only 10 vendors are going to be allowed to be on this part of the road and certain things are going to kind of block off so you only have 3-3 three, three people get for company on the side here. I don't know how they would do it, but I, I will, I'll like a work around so um, them can still be able to like, you know, provide for them families. And then there was this next video now with this woman over the side say, yo, she needs to step out at a curfew, which is 8 o'clock to 6 a.m. In case you don't know, until from April 1st to April 8th. But this woman decides that she's hungry and she can't stay out her yard. We'll help them. So, so we are, so we are look forward to right there now. I look for right now to eat and see that it's a road look. Yeah, so but, 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 but there, hold on, but there's no food on the street. Shop look at all. Then if shop look, then you should be inside. Don't. No, we're hungry, 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 hungry. I do not know yeah, man. I just love Jamaican people. But let me know what you thought about these two interviews, people. Do you agree with the individuals? Sound off below. Shop up. <laughs>
Anti Wallace, may I talk to you? The whole of the police, them, who do may I talk to? I'm telling you this. Me and all of my friends, them, I'm telling you this. It's about 8 o'clock. Nobody can't tell with nothing. We are going away hard. Number two, interesting couple. Me party and cocoa bread. <laughs> what? So, um, I saw this video now. I saw the video on Twitter now. People, that video can grab my eye. It hold my attention because there were just so many different things happening at once. So, this video now, I guess it, 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 it featured uh, uh, um, a couple, like an inner city couple. And when I tell you people, the people, them, them at. Them, the, the, hey. 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 Kim Kardashian and Kanye West have nothing upon them. Pre. So, I slow motion now, daddy. How are you, Musa? Up, yeah. yeah I I roll. Like see gunfire now. Bust gun now, no man. Bust gun. All right, so one of the first things that we'll have to examine, come if you walk it through the video, you know, because a whole heap of things are going on. So one of the first things we have to break down now is the, is the man in the video now. And the man come like him is like a little, um, I don't want to say golly bop or nothing like that, but he look like him probably a DJ. And he look like a long time he must sing and DJ too, and the community, the community know him new music. You know the little chiching ching type of popular swag, the little tanto blocks type of energy there? It look like say that the brother have, and he decide for going to little Omari and slow motion, Chris Brown type of thing, because the brother just talented like that. Aye, I rule. Like, all right, now so enough. Are the brother know so what you are missing now? What you're not seeing now is um the brother's empress, the brother's lady. No, we're gonna just rewind and go pre by the initial walk and tell me now if the woman now walk like Beyonce in a crazy in love. Look on the pasture there. Watch. So I slow motion, no daddy. Oh yeah, Musa. What was also even more interesting and out of this world is when the brother stopped for a dance, you know, and him look a slow motion thing. You know, so that girl never look back, it's like so she didn't the Bible and know so she turned back, she got turned into a little pillar of salt, and she decides, yo, may I come from Bible days for overcome them things here, man, I'm gonna make it reach me in a um, messed up 2020. So my girl just stayed so with the Beyonce on stage, stand up again, looking straight ahead, and it's like her spirit, her spirit recognize when her man did encamp it right at the back of her shoulder, and she move off in the same Miss World Yendi Phillips type of stride. No. No, who that, no, deck the copier, deck up here. No, they need some more prime time. They copy here now. They, no. Who is this couple? Where them they need an Instagram page right now, they need an interview because they cannot go on with them type of live like iPad. Interesting here. Interesting next year. And people don't know about them. Find them people. <laughs> what do you thought about this couple burritos? And number one goes to Cartel Denied. Woo! Ooh. Me don't know if me really is supposed to celebrate a one year. Me don't know about yeah, that is number one. My word, my sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my bibliotheca. So, by now you must have heard the news that Cartel, you know, him did have him appeal and everybody did have them hopes up. People were excited. People literally, the day before the decision was handed out, like everybody did just like them couldn't sleep. Everybody wake up early in the day, like so them have school, I go in morning. And they were just anticipating and hoping for um, a positive outcome. But that was not to be. Okay. Mercy said no, so, car so cartel him just have to stay put. But let me just read you what the Gleena said, and yeah, I don't want to read the information, but the Gleena said just work with it, all right? <laughs> so it says, popular dancehall artist Vibes Cartel has lost his appeal against his murder conviction after a near two-year wait. The Court of Appeal this morning handed down a judgment affirming the murder conviction of the popular entertainer. The court also upheld the convictions and sentences for dancehall artist Sean Storm and two other men, Kahira Jones and Andre St. John. So you know, so once the information they did put out, you know, you know the Gaza community, the Gaza family, they were not having it, they were not glad, they were not joyful, they were not with it. So they decided to you know, go to the lawyer's name, that is Miss Nita Robinson, and go up to her Instagram now and probably try for God her and trace her out. And you know, to some extent, I can, I can understand why they lash out at her. And it was really because leading up to the day that um, she was tweeting very confident um, tweets and saying that, yo, she almost is certain that, um, you know, it will work in favor of Vibes Cartel and that he will be a free man. And she was even saying that, you know, to the fans, they make sure if they come to the court, that they try to maintain some social distancing and all of these things. So you know the Gaza family, them, for them expectations did very very up so when they realized that this could happen now they just got feel flat now and then they're gonna fix the lady for building up them hopes like that
May I tell you, the cartel fans, them, the Gaza fans, were not happy. This was basically how the cartel fans were reacting. Pre it's like the nation, they don't realize the gem that they have. They don't realize the gem that they have. And it's, it's funny because Jamaica has that history. Whenever anybody tried to progress, whenever somebody have a heart for the country, they just bring it on. It's politics, man. Y'all don't understand what's going on, man. Half of the things I can't even say on this thing. My father would be so upset if I came here. But y'all don't understand what's going on. Lord Jesus. I'm sorry. It is so emotional. Because the person that they're trying to make him up to be is the total opposite. We would have been living. Yes, yeah, so what I'm hearing now is that they're going to take this to the Privy Council and try to see if they can get some justice there. Um, cartel, what is this? Is um, in 2014, Vibes Cartel got a life sentence for the 2011 murder of Clyde Lizard Williams. So that is the whole backstory now. And we're now in 2020 and Vibes Cartel is, I think he's almost 50 years old. And right about now, um, oh Lord, I hope I can't get forgot to say this, but... At this point in time, I think the issue is not whether or not um, Cartel did it. I think right about now, people just want them artists, them entertainer, to be out of road. I think the conversation is no, it's, the conversation is not about, in terms of just uh, the masses and the, the regular person, it's not about whether or not he did it, you know. People are just now talking about, and here's why he should get away or be out of it. You know, that is where most people are focused on right now. Because when you think of cartel, and a lot of persons who might be older or too young might not understand it, that cartel raised a lot of us. Cartel, um, for a lot of us, was the first persons we, we understood sexuality and understand how to express that. Cartel was the person who, I guess, taught you how to be a man. Cartel was the person who allowed you to broke out and to tap into, into this, 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 this teenage type of side and this whole adult, you know, excitement and, you know, just like get you to channel a different part of you. And, and Cartel has been, been around for quite a number of years. So when people think of him, it is very hard for them to really want to focus on the fact that he might be somebody that would have done something bad because that is not the Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer that they want to imagine. I have to understand that to the people who will not really get it. But, um, Let's just see what will happen, what the outcome would be. Um, it will be very interesting, um, very interesting if Cartel gets out because the world just naga damal after that. Pure excitement. Okay, well, that is it, readers. Let me know what you thought about, um, you know, the whole Cartel verdict. Sound off below. So we've come to the end of another social media countdown. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button as well as to leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure to so share the video, you know, as well as to subscribe. Now, I know a lot of you watch and you just refuse to subscribe, but here is a golden opportunity. Please to subscribe to the channel. Okay, we're at 216. I'd love to see if we can get to 220, you know, in a month or so. Okay, um, if you want to follow me, make sure that you, you know, head over to at Dirty Bear Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, um, TikTok as well for bookings um, and, well, I don't know if the bookings are going right now, but for promo in the social media countdown, it is Dirty Bear Show at gmail.com. So take care until next time. <laughs> <laughs> also, my readers, if you go check out this music video and song by an artist called Coley. Uh, the single is called Lockdown. I'm a video feed, and the song actually have a good little vibes. I'm thinking it fit this whole entire um, COVID, Corona, lockdown, quarantine type of you know, feelings there. So, check out the song, check out the video, and you know, give it a thumbs up. Link will be down in the description as well. Mm -hmm. She want me and I lockdown. High grade when I blaze, and she wants some. Nice face with a shade in a pop down. Cock up and put your up on the van front. Give that love. Yeah, lockdown, lockdown, uh, yeah. Control me, control. Uh. The dirty are the berry, yeah, the juicy are the scoop. All the things are going on, it missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie, said the corner coming soon. All the drama, what you want, you feel tuning to the youth.